It seems to be a shame that that money has been spent on private agencies when we really need it poured in back into our public system. Canada's premiers are gathering for their summer session here in Winnipeg. And while health care is top of mind for many Canadians, health coalitions from across the country are calling on the premiers to stop the privatization of health care and introduce universal pharmacare. Hundreds of people, including several health and labour unions, rallied by Winnipeg's Fort Gary Hotel Tuesday, the site of a meeting between Canada's provincial and territorial premiers. The demonstrators calling on the premiers to stop the privatization of health care in Canada. We need to make the health care jobs the best jobs in our community, and that will solve our crisis. Health care representatives met with the premiers Tuesday morning. The Canadian Federation of Nurses unions put forward several recommendations, including minimum nurse to patient ratios and setting limits on safe hours of continuous work. President Linda Silas says the premiers were receptive. We're asking the premiers really to think and invest into our public health care system. Do not waste our precious dollars in the private system. Every community needs great health care services, and that's through a public system. Nurse vacancies continue to grow across Canada. Darlene Jackson, the president of the Manitoba Nurses Union, says Manitoba has one of the highest nursing vacancies across the country, sitting at 2,800 vacancies. Jackson says frontline health care providers need to be at the table with the premiers. I don't know a nurse that doesn't come forward with an issue that hasn't got a solution to it. And the solutions don't necessarily have to cause cost a huge amount of money, but there are solutions that can be put into action quickly and can actually provide some relief for staff and hopefully retain nurses in the system. Patients, in addition to health care workers, joined the rally today. Winnipegger Mark Olfert was forced to have his knee replacement surgery done in Ontario due to the ongoing surgical backlog. He says if he didn't leave the province, he would have been forced to wait another two and a half years for the surgery. We should have better care here at home. We shouldn't have to travel out of the province to get care. They need to improve on that big time. As for the rally, Manitoba Premier Heather Stephenson says everyone has a right to express their opinions and she was happy to meet with health representatives. We had a great discussion today on health care within our uh, own provincial areas and, and territorial areas um, about how we can uh, work together, learn best practices from, from other uh, jurisdictions as well. And uh, so I think uh, it was a positive day today. In Winnipeg, Alex Carver City News.